Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about making mistakes and admitting them. Everybody makes mistakes. Admitting them is uh, the first step in stopping it because a mistake just compounds until it's admitted and corrected. The likelihood of somebody admitting a mistake is uh, diametrically opposed to how much of their image is based on the idea that they're infallible. If they push the idea that they're always right, when they make a mistake, they're very reluctant to admit it, and therefore they're very reluctant to change it. We have made mistakes in this country. We've made them throughout history, and we've made some big ones very recently. This is borne out in the evidence when you compare how the U.S. is doing versus other countries. Those in political office, those who make policy, do not want to admit their mistakes. Around the same time that public health experts were advising policymakers on the mistakes that were made and were saying, hey, the reason this is going on is because we didn't shut down far enough and we reopened too soon, there were students walking around two schools. Those students were positive. As of yet, there has been no change in policy. We will find out in a couple of weeks how many, if any, those positive students transmitted it to. And then a little while later, we'll find out how many the students who had it transmitted to them, how many people they transmitted it to. And it's just going to go on. We made mistakes, and we're not admitting them. The longer public health officials have to talk to a wall, the longer this is going to go on. Our policymakers have to admit that they made mistakes. They're flawed. That's okay. I understand. When you're looking at 150,000 gone because of the mistakes, it's hard to admit that that's your fault. But that number will double or triple depending on how long it takes them to admit their mistakes and correct them. For those that don't care about the human cost, the economy will suffer the longer this goes on. It will get worse and worse. It will compound. There has to be a unified response. There has to be a unified plan of action. Otherwise, this will just continue. It will drag on. We've seen it. It's in history books. This is how it happens. And this is mainly, at this point, there, there's a pretty, pretty, pretty overwhelming consensus on what works and what doesn't. At this point, the only thing stopping us from solving this issue, from working towards getting things back to normal, are politicians who want things back to normal now and are too arrogant and too concerned with their own ego to admit that they were wrong. Those politicians who made mistakes, that's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. Not correcting them, that's when it becomes a real issue. The American people will forgive mistakes. They won't forgive people being lost because of arrogance. And that's what it boils down to now. You have politicians ripping into public health experts because they don't like the answers they're getting. Because the answers don't match the political talking points they were handed by another politician. It's time to admit our mistakes as a country. And this goes to the handling of this crisis and all of the mistakes that we made before that we try to sweep under the rug. We all know they were made. Admit them so we can fix them. If we pretend like they weren't made, they will go on. All of these issues will go on. The public health crisis, all systemic issues will continue until we admit that they're there. They will continue to be a drag on the economy, a drag on human life, and a drag on the American way of life. 
We cannot make America great until we admit that we weren't. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.